Hey, hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Uh, this is going to be a short but interesting video uh, because it's going to be a Node.js on IBM I. Okay, so last time we have seen how to create a, a web service using uh, Node.js. Okay, and we just showed the result uh, in a format of JSON in the browser. But now we're going to see uh, the HTML in action. Okay, so here, right, uh, let me quickly show the output first. So here I have started my, uh, my pop 400 in a command prompt. Okay, I'm running my Node.js application here. Basically, the intention is if you call the get users uh, endpoint, I should get the users from the users one uh, PF. Okay, which means currently if I go and check users one, I'm seeing the three record that is what available here. Okay, if I add a record or a delete a record, it will reflect here. Say for example, I'm going to share SQL and then insert into users one F4. Okay, and I'm saying uh, maybe the record four and then new user. So now I have added the record. If I come to this session and then if you just reload, I should be able to see the fourth record. Okay. Similarly, if I go and then maybe uh, delete from users one where UID equal to two. Okay, now we have deleted one record. If I reload it, the fourth record is deleted. So uh, this is what I'm going to demonstrate how this is happening basically okay uh, it's still no js so the the code which i'm going to explain is going to be from uh, my desktop because um, showing the screen of s400 uh, is not so visible so uh, i'm going to explain everything from uh, my pc but uh, i'll just explain what i have just replaced in my no js okay um, yeah let me just pause the video and prepare myself okay so let me show the code so this is Pretty much the code which we'll write for this particular stuff to work okay so we are having uh, express again as a uh, framework we are including it in our node.js you can then we are instantly uh, instantiating the uh, express framework and this is a point interesting point okay we need to say uh, app dot set view engine equal to ejs so ejs means it's embedded javascript which means it will help us to uh, embed uh, javascript code inside the html uh, document i'll just show the example here quickly show an example so here i'm just having a port 3300 my own port and as of now i'm hard coding these values but in our ibm we need to get this value from the pf that is the only difference okay so now we have this names variable which contains a, a array of json objects okay now we need to uh, code for the endpoint so here add that get get users this is going to be my endpoint and in that endpoint right i'm just going to say uh, request sorry request and response and then response dot render get users so this is a difference right last time we we have done response dot send and we have just sent the json object but here we are using a method called render but the render will take the uh, file name as the first argument so we should have a get users dot ejs file in a views directory so views directory means okay this particular app js available here and in the same directory level we should have a folder called views and inside the views we should have something like get users dot ejs Okay, so EJS extension is not uh, uh, needed in this uh, render method, but it should have an EJS extension. If you go to get users.ejs, right, basically it's a pure uh, HTML, but the thing is we can have the JavaScript inside. Say, for example, if you come down, right, so here I have the user details and then uh, heading, and you can see the users are coming uh, dynamically uh, in the uh, users object okay so users dot for each is actually a javascript uh, way of doing a for, for loop okay and then for each users object i'm just printing the uh, id and name inside the table data but here if you see in the app.js i'm just passing the users object with the value of names so what will happen this users is actually um, a key which contains the value of names so these names will be substituted here and then this users variable will be available in our get users dot ejs uh, embedded javascript okay this is the only <clears throat> code we are doing uh, if you just go back our to as 400 right if you go to add this we have pretty much the same but inside the get users the only difference here is uh, we are having our uh, db2 uh, methodology of bringing the pf which i have already explained in, in our last video okay we are doing a, a db init dbcon and then uh, executing the query and then just doing an exec and then whatever the data comes i'm just passing the data into the uh, users passing the data as a user's object okay and we just need to include this particular require command to bring this db2 library and we can pretty much do it 
do it. And if you go to views folder, we also have a get user study JS, and this is exactly same of what we have just seen. Okay, so this is a way of doing a dynamic HTML uh, creation uh, based on the Node.js and then uh, IBMI. Okay, so hope this gives you some interesting idea of how we can do it. Okay, so basically we can create a web application itself uh, in in our IBMI using the Node.js. Okay, so that's it for this video. I uh, hope this helps you. Okay, I'll see you in the next video with a different topic. Thanks for watching.